What's going on champs and jammets? It's FireMonkey here and I gotta be honest, I have a little bit of a problem. I've recorded this video like three times now and for some reason I can't stop myself from saying brand new every three seconds. I think I'm going literally insane. But with that said, in today's YouTube video we'll be talking about tons of brand new teasers and images that came out regarding Chapter 3 Season 4, which has confirmed a lot of stuff, such as, you know, that whole entire Chrome aspect we talked about before being even more of an important aspect going into the new season, four of the skins that are now confirmed to be coming to the new season, and much, much much more. So to start us off, let's go ahead and show you guys basically all the teasers. Now I'm only going to show one at a time as I go in depth about, you know, which each one is. So firstly, we have the Paradigm teaser that actually got leaked early from the Nintendo eShop. This has been re-added to the eShop and it was basically to hype up the Paradigm being one of those skins. Now in particular, this isn't the old version of the Paradigm, you know, the one you got from the item shop or anything. It appears that the uh, Battle Pass skin is going to be the remixed version of Paradigm, you know, the one from the live event that had the new armor and everything. That is going to be the one we'll finally be able to obtain through the Fortnite item shop. So it's nice to see that this will be available for those who may not have been able to obtain the original Paradigm skin when that had originally released, you know, back then a long, long time ago. I think it was like with the live event with the mech and everything. I can't really even remember anymore. But other than that, we also got a different teaser for each platform. So for Epic Games, we got the following teaser, which shows like a claw type hand or whatever. But based on leaks and everything, it appears that this claw hand is going to be that emo slash goth meow that we had seen leaked the concept art of and everything from before so it basically just further confirms that yeah we are going to be getting that skin and it is in a way our first look at what it's going to look at and look like in the 3d realm you know with all the actual HD textures and whatnot instead of just a 2d concept art posted over the internet on top of that we also got an image over on the PlayStation Store which the PlayStation Store had a pretty interesting image this one actually showed us if I'm trying to remember correctly because I don't have it pulled up right now yeah okay I have pulled it up this one actually showed a spider Gwen now I am excited for spider Gwen but the very interesting thing is around like the edges of the hand you can see a similar like glow to that of the little actual spider verse effect you know like the glitchy effect or whatever that was in the spider verse movies and all that so people are highly expecting that it might be a little bit of a unique version of cell shading for when the skin releases having a little bit more of that glitchy effect on it instead of just you know being a black outline over the skin itself but that it is pretty hype overall to see epic games doing some more concepts with you know skin the outlines and everything they put on those type of skins and I can't wait to actually be able to get this in game but for the comment question of the day I do want to know down below do you think spider Gwen is going to be the tier 100 of this season or are they going to be kind of like you know in the middle range of this season and then finally on the Microsoft Store aka Xbox we got the following image of just a brand new unique skin with a chrome hand now no one really knew what was going on with this right away however as spotted by someone on my discord server it appears that this is actually going to be another one of the concept skins that was leaked before. Now, an interesting thing about this one in particular is there's been a lot of controversy based on the design. You know, a lot of people on Twitter are like, this is the least favorite skin that Epic Games has made because, you know, there's some websites where you can rank all the concept skins and whatnot, and this one was ranked the lowest out of all of them. So a lot of people are kind of, you know, debating over if this is going to look good in game, if Epic Games should have just scrapped this concept overall, or anything in between. But I gotta be completely honest, I'm completely fine with this skin, right? I'm actually excited for it to release because we do kind of get this skin to maybe potentially play into the lore, with the whole entire, you know, chrome aspect. I mean, it literally has a hand covered in chrome. And who knows, maybe it'll look better in the in-game version than that of what people are, you know, speculating it looks like based on the actual concept art version, because with every concept art, things are always scheduled to change before they officially release. It's just kind of our glimpse at what it could officially look like when it comes to the game, but other than the chrome hand, you know, the actual arm little, like, bracing or whatever is on there matches up perfectly to the concept as well. So yeah, it pretty much looks like we are going to be seeing Spider-Gwen, Emo slash goth meowsles remix paradigm and this new chrome skin all in the brand new chapter 3 season 4 battle pass along with this epic games has currently been you know hyping up the brand new season and teasers and everything by typing you know some interesting cryptic tweets over on twitter but the main part about these twitter tweets that they're posting is that we kind of already know what to expect from it because we know that chrome is a big theme for the brand new season and over on twitter they're capitalizing certain letters so that once you know all the tweets are put out it will spell out the worm chrome in caps so it's pretty much just them you know slightly hyping up the whole entire chrome aspect even more by capitalizing on these specific words 
cards and you know just trying to hype it up that way but of course you know it could maybe give us some hints or whatever at what's going on behind the scenes with the actual chrome theme based on the tweets itself because it's talking about stuff like freeing us and it makes you wonder who is us who is this thing that we're trying to free what's really going on how bad is this chrome system getting and why is it you know infecting the characters in a certain way where they were going missing from the previous season aka the current one actually and just really brings up a lot of speculation over what is going down with the brand new season right because there's a lot of stuff they're hyping up this is the most i've really seen them start hyping stuff up because we got a different image on each main platform a different teaser image on nintendo different teaser image on the epic game store a different teaser image over on playstation and a different teaser image over on the xbox store and they're also working out a way to you know hype it up through actual trailers and everything but also through their own tweets and everything you know spelling out chrome or whatnot so it's really like they're putting in a lot of effort into this new season and I really 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 badly want to see what is in store with the brand new season because you know it seems like they're hyping it up a lot they're doing a lot to basically tease it and I am just overall super excited so hopefully you know this was a concise way to tell you guys everything going on with the brand new Fortnite season and we have a pretty interesting video to talk about tomorrow regarding potentially a brand new map coming to the Fortnite island so make sure to subscribe to stay tuned to all the information I'm dropping your way because I'll see you champs and champets tomorrow with even more juicy content peace out.